bang, they go crazy. They're swinging <laughs> on the fucking rafters. They're eating all the candy. They're eating Tootsie Rolls that you guys left there five years ago because you just realized this shit is disgusting. And then on top of that, dudes are outside screaming, yeah, eat that candy. Woo! Cheer for them. They're going nuts, right? You, on the other hand, you've been there for 10 plus years. You're like, what the fuck is wrong with these guys? So you pulling these guys aside. Like, yo, what's wrong with you, bro? Like, why, why are you eating all this candy? And the guy looks you in the face and says, you didn't have to bust your ass to get in here. Shut up. I'm going to have as many pieces of candy as I want. And that's what women don't understand. Men have to bust their ass to get into the candy store. You don't. So how are you going to tell them how many pieces of candy you can eat? So basically, the way I've heard him explain it, I've never used it. But a man starts his life off at the bottom of a mountain. And he fights his ass off and he gets hit by rocks and he gets torn up and his ass handed to him and he gets beat up and he falls down the mountain, has to start over, goes bankrupt. And he finally fights and fights and fights and claws away and he gets to the top of the mountain and he gets into the candy shop and he eats his first piece of candy and they tell him that's the only piece he can have. And generally a man that's done all of that work is going to be like, fuck you, I'm going to take over the whole store. Because very, very, very few men will ever get up that mountain. It's called the 1% for a reason. And it is a fucking dog fight. And that's what he's referring to. It's the thing that drives men. Now, there's a lot of men out there that'll say, oh, that's bullshit. No, <clears throat> using it as a dating strategy. Any man that could love his wife, tuck his kids in at night, be a good man, provide for his entire family, be there as a father, be a provider, be the hero for his family and sleep with a couple women every now and then would do it and anybody that says otherwise is a fucking liar straight up and 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 look i know that sucks and it's not fair and it is completely not fair but it is the reality of the world and i think sometimes when we talk about these subjects we get lost between the realities of the world and the emotions because i know it i know it hurts it does but it is absolutely true wow <laughs> what do you guys think of that? Silence. Silence. I agree to a certain extent. Oh no, not to a certain extent. Speak into the mic. <laughs> Their silence agrees with me. They don't the have silence to. Silence agrees. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. But Their silence agrees I'm... with me. It's just the fact that a lot of men don't want to climb that mountain. Yeah. And so they'll trade off things that they don't actually want to do to get some piece of candy. But the men that really want to hustle want the whole fucking store. And generally, that's the man that you're going to admire and look up to because he has ambition. He has drive in his life. He's a hard worker. You believe in him. And most of all, you trust him to take care of you. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. And I don't mean to be disrespectful, but I genuinely want you to hear me because I fear that if young women that are young and beautiful, like you girls are, are taking advice from older women that are not happy, you are going to find yourself in that same position. 